everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and this is the first edition of What We Ate For Dinner. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I post all my grocery hauls every single Monday. I also post my meal plan to go with it, but after a while I realized, you know, I didn't really show you guys exactly what we're eating. Like I say, okay, well here's a list of what we're eating, but there's no pictures, there's no video. And a lot of that is because we I haven't made the meals yet by the time the video comes out. I mean, I post it all on Instagram actually, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, I highly encourage you to do so. I've got a link in the description. I show you like what I'm cooking and then like the, the finished product, but I don't show you here on YouTube. So a couple weeks ago, I asked who would be interested in seeing what I actually make out of the stuff that I buy. And there was a lot of interest. So I decided that I'm going to start doing a video. I don't know if it's going to be once a month or once every couple of weeks, but I wanted to show you what exactly I am making with all the food that you see in those grocery hauls. So today I've just got a few for you just to get you started. I've got another video coming out next week with all of my Meyer stuff. So the things that I bought from my 10 for 10 sale, when if you saw my grocery video from back on this Monday, you'll see that. But this is just a whole bunch of dinners that I made previously, things that you may have seen from previous grocery hauls. But I really wanted to just give you an idea of what my dinners actually look like. It is one thing to see the ingredients, but to actually see the dinner that comes out of it is a whole other story. So let me show you what I made. This first dinner was just a simple burrito bowl. I had part of a bag of dried kidney beans, so I cooked those up in the instant pot, and then I made some brown rice in my rice cooker. I also chopped up some lettuce and tomatoes, kind of like a burrito salad, I guess. I've got some Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Have some shredded cheese, and then there's some jalapenos hiding in there somewhere too. This is usually what we do with our burrito bowls, is just putting beans, rice, sometimes some meat, sour cream, cheese, lettuce, tomato. Super simple, but it's super filling. This next one was chicken pot pie from my chicken freezer meals. I'm going to be showing you the video here in a week or two. This is from a, a cookbook that I found in my bookshelf. So chicken pot pie, I have like a ton of filling that's in the freezer right now. I just put it in an actual pie with the pie crust and a simple salad to go with it. Just some lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, and then some banana peppers. I absolutely loved this chicken pot pie, which is good because there's three more in the freezer. But I think also I'll make some biscuits next time and put the chicken pot pie mixture on top of that. Then this next dinner is Instant Pot Macaroni and Cheese using rotini instead of macaroni. But I also cooked up some chicken sausages on the on a pan and then uh, there's some frozen broccoli in there as well. So once the macaroni and cheese finished in the Instant Pot, I just mixed everything together and it made a huge bowl of it. This is like... I don't know, a cup and a half, maybe even two cups. So I didn't really need anything else to go with it. Oh gosh, it was so good and it was super filling too. This next dinner here was from one of the fr chicken marinade freezer meals I did. I'll link that below. This is Hawaiian chicken. So it's just the chicken with some barbecue sauce and pineapple chunks in the slow cooker. I also cooked up some farro over there in the corner. A farro is a grain similar to rice. You cook it just like rice too. A little bit chewier. Then I roasted up some broccoli and put it all in a bowl. It doesn't really look like much. Um, it was a bigger bowl, so I would probably put it in a smaller bowl next time to make it look like and feel like I'm eating more, but honestly, it was really good. This next dinner was also part of that chicken freezer meal session that I did. This is salsa chicken. So it was just chicken and then a cup of salsa, then some black beans and corn put in the slow cooker for a few hours. Then I shredded the chicken, put it on top of some brown rice, and then I roasted some zucchini to go on top of there. So it's very similar to a burrito bowl. Um, I didn't have any lettuce or tomato this time, but still this made a ton of food. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then this dinner, oh, it was so delicious. These are turkey burgers, the Jenny O brand. I got them at the grocery outlet. I actually ended up overcooking it a little bit, but some pickles and mustard helped, but I put those on the George Foreman grill, served them on some whole wheat hamburger buns, and then those are just some frozen green beans, and I roasted some Brussels sprouts in the oven, and those are Ritz cheddar baked chips, kind of like the baked Lay's, or maybe they're crackers, I can't remember. But I also had some grapes with it. That was so much food, and that kept me full for quite a while. Then this is a sneak peek of a video that's coming up soon. Um, the chicken freezer meals along with the chicken pot pie. This is buttermilk chicken. So I put chicken in a freezer bag with a marinade of like buttermilk and a few different spices. Let that sit in the fridge overnight and I cooked this on the George Foreman grill. Then to go with it, I made some quinoa in my rice cooker just with some chicken broth and salt and pepper. Then I roasted some cauliflower in the oven. I had a ton of chicken left over, so I used that leftover chicken to make sandwiches out of the leftover hamburger buns from the turkey burgers. So trying to use up everything that I have and it totally worked out well. And this next picture, I didn't make it. Um, this was from Kings Island actually. We were this was a very impromptu trip. I was going to cook something else for dinner, but while we were at Kings Island, I mean, we get the, the food passes every single year, so we get to eat for free twice a day. So this is one of them. This is from the Coney Island Barbecue, and they like hand make all their food. This was the pulled pork sandwich, and I'm not sure what kind of bun this was, but I think, I think it may have been drenched in butter, which is probably not the healthiest, but it was super good. Then like homemade baked beans, that was a hush puppy down there. You can also get macaroni and cheese, baked sweet potatoes, I think collard greens as well. This place is seriously the bomb. I don't go there very often and I hadn't gone there at all this season, so I figured I needed it. I just wanted to show you what a typical day at Kings Island looks like for me. Let me know what you thought of these videos. Like I said, there really weren't all that many in this edition. I only had like a couple of weeks worth of dinners, but if I do this like once a month, I'm gonna have a whole lot more to show you guys. So it's gonna be a little bit longer and quite a few more ideas. So if you're interested in seeing more, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like the video, ring the bell so you can be notified when those videos come out. Also, don't miss my grocery hauls, all of my recipes and my other meal planning and nutrition tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.